Right, just a few days ago, you've probably seen my video, or hope you've seen my video, the release of the new P790 irons from TaylorMade. And uh, my immediate thoughts, as perhaps yours were, is how do they compare from previous models? And we're not going to go back to 2017, but we are going to go back to 2019 and take a look at their predecessors and try and find out in this video what are the differences, if there are any at all. I'll look at some dry ball data and we'll hit a few irons here out on the course. And the things I'm looking for is obviously performance, but there's a big change supposedly in terms of the inside of this uh, new P790 and has it made much difference in terms of the feel and perhaps also the forgiveness within the irons. And we'll do our best to try and see if any of that rings true. Now one of the big differences in the new model is aesthetically and not just in terms of the outside but also the shaping. I've got these clubs at the sort of sole end showing to see the major difference and hopefully from the light it's not the sunniest of days but you should be able to pick up there's a, a chrome finish uh, very prevalent on the underneath of the uh, 2019 model and it's this kind of matte finish that I would liken it to have seen it in a kind of ping i500s before it's a, I don't know like a satin finish I suppose they call it if I'm honest with you and if you watch my channel over the years you'll know I'm a fan of a bit of shiny chrome so the fact that that's been dropped out I would have highlighted that as a real positive two years ago so I can hardly sort of say that this is now brilliant because from my eyes I do prefer that bit of bling but what I will say about the the new version is that if you take a look at the back side of it they've uh, they've stripped it back in terms of its markings it's very much uh, in line with the P770s and I mentioned on the previous video it definitely sits in better if you wanted to blend the set of uh, the P770s and 790s sitting those two together in your bag would look absolutely seamless so we understand that bit and then the second bit is the profile they've changed slightly and I found it very difficult to explain on the previous video and we'll put some overlays for you now and you work out yourself how it's changed uh, but there's definitely differences in there and all I will say is that and you make up your own mind in terms of how you would describe it but looking at these bottom two what have we got let's put two irons that are at least relatable two nine irons there together just even the way the, so uh, the club sole meets the hosel they're totally different in terms of their thickness as are they from the top line and their overall profile from heel to toe has changed quite a bit for a lot of people they perhaps won't notice it but certainly putting the two models side by side it's a very noticeable difference who that appeals to one or the other i'm not quite so sure i'll let you make your own minds up on that one right so as a comparison we better start with how these are like at address and there's quite a noticeable difference in the profile the top line it's, it's just changed from above quite significant, significantly and uh, at a dress it just seems a little bit chunkier than the original profile. And the other big noticeable difference is that they change the colouring on the face of the club and what it seems to do is present a little bit more loft. While you look at these I better explain as well the one in front is the 29 version, 2019 version this one at the back is the new model so you can see your differences from that profile. But at above, it seems to be less offset and it presents a little bit more loft, which I would have thought, to be honest with you, in a lot of instances, it'll be uh, a, a very much a positive. I'm going to start now by hitting, I'll hit, it's seven iron I've got in hand, by the way, as we normally do the testing with. I'll collect data on seven, five, and I've also got a nine iron in both clubs. And we'll see if we can see some differences there. But like I said, just seems that little bit chunkier. Um, it definitely fits in terms of the profile, in terms of that game improvement sort of uh, style and shape. Um, even though it sort of aims itself, I think, at very much the mass market in the sort of, you know, mid to high handicappers, I don't know. But then some real good players got this in the bag as well. But it just seems a little bit chunkier from other things that I've seen of late. A decent enough clip and one of the things that they've done in the new model is there's some new uh, material inside the speed foam has changed hasn't it and one of the aims of that is to try and dampen soften the sound and give it that more forge like feeling and I said it in the initial review for me I wonder if they'll ever quite achieve that because it's still got for me that clickier sound and whilst we've been hitting collecting data in here early this morning I asked Hannah who's behind the camera can she notice the sound it's certainly very evident she did say as well that it's a clickier sound so it's not just on my ears and I still think that exists in the new model but what I will do we'll just hit one there with the old model I'll try this again which I've already done off camera I'll see if you can pick up in terms of audio but there's very for me at least very little difference between the old and the new. I hit the second ball a little bit better, 
a little bit crisper actually so I don't know what it did in terms of audio but for me sound wise even with the change in the foam that's inside of these things the sound doesn't really differ that greatly for me can't separate them on sound can certainly separate them on looks but it's very minimal so the next thing to do like I said is have a look at the data and see what we've managed to collect and how they perform differently in each of the sort of five seven and nine irons Right, one thing I picked up on whilst collecting the data, and certainly in the, uh, in the longer iron in terms of the five irons, I mentioned when we were looking at how they look at a dress, and I mentioned offset. And um, again, I've not seen in terms of uh, specifications, but certainly visually, there seems a lot less offset. And when I put the five irons down at a dress, for me, a lot more neutral in the way the uh, new five iron sits at a dress. So for me, on a personal level, I'd prefer that. For others, again, that kind of, at least the visual, the offset is sometimes a little bit more of a, a positive in terms of the, the mental side of the game. But they are really, really different. And for me, like I said, the newer model sits in much nicer behind the ball. But again, we'll see in terms of performance how they differ. Yeah. I've hit a couple of these and I've got to admit that they've been, I got that one thin off the bottom, so we'll try another one while the camera's on. I've got to admit that the new five iron, and with the last to be fair, I think where these have come into their own for me, the P790s are so good at the long end of the bag. That's better. So again, high, high ball flight. Five iron I'm carrying sort of 180 odd carry with the five iron quite consistently, easy to pick up. And again, what I go back to saying earlier, for me, if I was putting these sets together, the idea of blending sets between P770s and 790s now looks seamless in the bag. And I much prefer the idea of pitching and wedge, maybe up to seven iron in P770s. But then going into something like this into your six, your five, and perhaps four iron is a no-brainer in terms of getting some help, forgiveness, and probably a bit more of a stronger ball flight and that stronger lofted uh, five, six, and, and four iron if you go that way. Right, so we've looked at five iron, we've looked at seven iron. I thought we'd come outside to have a look at the nine irons. And uh, the reason being, I think it's the one way you really want to get a little bit of idea in terms of how they feel. And maybe again, that sound is that big important part. No major changes, like I've said, it just rings through throughout the set. It's just that little bit more offset, uh, noticeable offset, and that changes shape and profile. And I've said before, I don't think these are going to be reasons as to why you're going to change from P790s of two years ago into the new model. There's just not enough happening in these, and I don't think TaylorMade are expecting you to do so either. But all I'm trying to do is identify what changes there are, if any, are they noticeable and do they enhance performance at all? Um, but so far, I've got to say, there's not a great deal to separate these from their predecessors. And there's no reason to. It's that kind of thing, uh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There's nothing wrong with these clubs. For me, they're, uh, they're two of the best releases. Or what is now three of the best releases in the last uh, whatever it is now that's a four year period i think when they came along their first version in 2017 it's a real big product a massive seller for taylor made themselves and i think it continues to be one of the biggest sellers in their range it certainly appeals to the masses i'm going to quickly switch around into the older version and just see if we can notice any difference in terms of um well the same thing like i said sound which really resonates back into feel We're just playing, yeah, second half of the green. It's a little bit short here on a 120 yard par three. Not ideal for this, but it gives us an idea in terms of, and again, whether or not you can pick up the audio out here, but I cannot separate them in terms of the, the sound and feel. So whatever's gone on inside of that club face from a feel and sound perspective, it hasn't made much of a difference for me from uh, the predecessor. So as ever, it's back to you. And what are your thoughts on these P790s? Who's got them on the wish list for this year? Who's gonna give them a try? I honestly think, like I said, if you've got a previous model in your hands, then there's no need to change. But I do think that 
that sort of when you do a head-to-head -head and you say nothing's changed it's almost like a negative but the point is i was a massive fan of these irons in the first instance so i'm not saying these are no good what i'm saying is they're no different they're a really really good set of irons and i think all the things that they did in the previous models like they were they're easy to launch i think they're lofted sensibly um, I think the ball fight's very, very good. The launch angles are good. The ball speeds are good in terms of off-centre hits. So they tick all them boxes. It just means that this model, to me, seems to be doing very much the same. And the changes are minor and the tweaks are minor. But I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that are going to give these a go and they'll end up in the bag. Right, so that's as much as I can do in terms of trying to find a difference between these two irons. And if we did it very simply, uh, if you want an answer, there really isn't any difference apart from maybe the shape bit on the looks but the difference that you're really looking for if you're potentially looking to swap from one to the other is performance differences perhaps some sound and feel differences and again I can't really find anything major that's in there if you look at the data which I'm going to leave till the very end screen because there's, uh, there's quite a lot of it because I've collected it for both five seven and nine in both irons and if I go through every bit of that it gets a little bit uh, boring for you to look at but those who are interested it will be on the end screens but what you will notice I've been through it all is that there are, again very few differences anything that is in there that highlights a difference at all is very much been down to the way i've delivered the club for me in terms of how it's performed from a consistency point of view there's very little difference in either the short end of the bag or the long end of the bag so no differences that i can report back to you what i will say just to reiterate the point is either because there's no differences does it's not a negative these have been really good performing set of irons me on a personal level too chunky down the bottom end i would rather see something a bit thinner from the top line and for me the opposite five iron like a bit of meat there like a bit of confidence in there so the idea of that blended set is the perfect scenario if you're looking to do something this year and change your irons right that's me done more importantly like i always say your uh, input is more interesting than mine so comments down below give me your feedback hit that like button if you like what you've seen and uh, if you're not subscribing already then i'd ask you to consider doing so and I will see you all very, very soon.